Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to make uh, the cinches for the side saddles. Um, these are the chair style historical side saddles. Um, and it's just going to be really quick because it's, it's basically a western cinch. All right, so we need to make the, um, the buckles. So we're going to take a straight pin, and I'm using a 10 millimeter jump ring just because I know there's a lot of straps that are going to go in there. So first thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and snip off my pin head. I do it against the table because I, I can keep these. I can use these for buttons on doll clothes. So I'll go ahead and keep that. Then I'm going to take my, um, I call these my little fingers, but I'll go ahead and take these uh, pliers, the round beading pliers, and uh, we're going to turn it. I'm not going to close it all the way because I want to slip my jump ring on there like that. And then I'm going to take another pair of tooth pliers. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then uh, we're going to um, get rid of that tip because it's way too long. But I don't want to make it too short. So I'm going to push it into this fabric that I'm using to hold that point down. And I'm going to go ahead and clip it flush with that jump ring. And that way it hangs a little bit over. Um, you want to make sure you catch these. If you ever get them in the carpet and then you find them later with your feet, you will regret it. So please catch those. Don't don't let them go flying. Vacuum just picks them up and you can hear them go clickety, clickety, clickety. Okay, um, the next thing I do is a lot of times there's a sharp point here. So I'm just going to take a file, file down that point. Less likely to bleed when you tack up if you do that. All right, so you're going to make actually four of these. So it's going to be two for each of the girths or cinches. And... Um, you want the um, tongue to be over and in front. So if I can show you that, it's in front. See how it's in front? That's how I. That's how the front should be. So I'm going to hold it so when it folds over, that's on the top of the jump ring, and then I'm going to put that into the the slit. It per the pattern, so there's a slit in there. Now I'm, I elongate it um, more than I show in the pattern because what I like to do is once I tuck that in like that, is I want to make sure that that tongue is in that slit both on the front and the back. So I've got it moves inside that that slit there. Okay, and um, you'll see it's also in the front. That helps to reduce some of the bulk as well. And I'll go ahead and glue that in place. And then I'll do the same for the other side. I have made a few of these in my life, so. There we go. Make sure that eye or tongue, the eye of the tongue is in that slit on both sides and now I can glue it in place. Last thing we need to do is um, there's no connecting straps um, there's no connecting straps on the bottom uh, like with Western because they're actually going to be um, the connecting straps are right there these uh, between those so but what I do want to do is I'm going to put some suede on um, as a lining. Um, it goes behind uh, the lump for the buckle. So I'm going to glue it from there to the other side. And um, a little goes a long way. I'm dealing with suede as my lining. The way I do this is I do dye my own um, leather and some leather, not this particular, some dyes, not this particular dye, but some dyes uh, will bleed. I have a USMC black that it just comes off in your hands if it isn't uh, sealed. So, um, but this particular, this is a pro dye. I don't have a lot of that left, but the pro dye has a finish in it as well. So it doesn't, it doesn't bleed. But just in case having this padding um, is with a, a, a suede that doesn't bleed, and most of the good suedes don't bleed. Um, and they bleed into your model and permanently stain the model. So 
This is a protective strap to hopefully, you know, prevent any bleeding. But not only that, it was usually was padded. Um, a lot of times it was linen. It was stuffed linen was the padding is what I've seen in the photos. So anyways, you're going to make two of those. And there you go. That is the cinches for the uh, chair style, um, the chair style side saddles. And it's the same regardless of color. Thank you for spending time with me today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and have a good day.